All right, today is 4 one the first day of April. We made it to April. Woo, we are done with the longest month. All right, now let's review because a lot of you made some mistakes. So I wanna make sure I clarify before we move on. So here's some clarification. Um, Okay, so if I give you the points, two, four, three, six, four, eight, right? And I'm asking you to graph this. So you create a basic graph. Carolina, I, you're right, maybe. You are right. Okay, so on the X, I'm gonna go up by one. Okay, now this was a mistake that I saw over and over and over and over in um, the work that you guys turned in yesterday. And I made a comment. So much, Michael, can we Go by like four, six, eight, with like two, four, six, eight, ten. On your X or your Y? On the X. On the X? No, I'm gonna go by one. By ones. One. Wait, no. Uh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, because I got a three right here, right? Yeah. So yeah. one, two, three. But okay, so one mistake that I saw is it started on two, right? So kids started on two. But it's like, do you do you start counting on two? Two, three, four, five? No, right? Naturally, you would start one, two, three, four, five. So that is the number one mistake I saw on the Y, especially. Here's the Y. I'm going to use pencil because I'm going to make a mistake. I don't want you to copy down my mistake. I'm going to use pencil. So don't copy this down, but I want you to pay attention. Once I switch over to the pens, we'll start writing again. So the pencil is a mistake. What kids did in this class, you guys did it. And if you're thinking, I didn't do it, check the comments, because you probably did it. You took these numbers and you literally just copied them down. Like that. You went four, six, and eight. And it's like, what? Well, Miss Alma, these are the numbers. I know, but did you create this table? Did you fill in the numbers? No then you can't over here, you can't just copy them down. But you said to go up by the unit rate. Well, what are you going up by here? Well, I'm going up by, are you going up by fours? Four, eight, 12? No. What are you going up by? Two. Oh, you're going up by two? So why'd you start with four? Well, there's no, there's no, there's no two here. Doesn't matter. What you're creating here are like number lines. So when you're creating number lines, you can go up by fours or by eights or by twos or by ones or by fives, whatever you want to go up by, but make sure you start with the first number. A lot of you started with the four and you can look back on your, on your classwork from yesterday. Did you start with the four right here? Cause this started with the four. No, no, no. You're like, okay, but Miss Amelia, I didn't start with a one. So therefore I don't have to start with the two, but if you counted by ones here, you have to start with a one. All right. So that was a mistake I saw a lot. A lot, so careful. So I'm gonna go up by twos, I'm gonna count by twos. So zero, two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, so on and so forth. So if you're going up by twos, if you're going up by ones, by fives, whatever you're going up by, you need to start with the first number. Kind of like in elementary school, when we started counting, right? And skipping, skip counting, uh, two, four, six, eight, or five, 10, 15, 20, whatever the number is, don't forget the first number, don't just skip it. A lot of you did make that mistake yesterday, okay? So that was the first thing I want to clarify. All right, now we're going to graph it. Two, four, three, six, four, eight, okay? So we're going to connect the points. And some of you did this, and you're like, it's not proportional. I'm like, why not? Because it doesn't go through the origin. We'll make it go through the origin. Connect your points, extend your line. Ugh. 
make it go straight. Did it go through the origin? Is it still the straight line? And even though I messed up, sorry, it is proportional. It is a straight line. So this graph is proportional. Okay, so that means k is equal to 2. Oh, Mr. Miller, what should we title this? Excuse me? What should we title this? Oh. Basic review, because this is what we did yesterday, but a lot of you did not get it. So we're going back, and I'm going over like the mistakes that I saw. Number one mistake that I saw was you didn't number the y correctly or the x correctly. That's the first mistake I saw. And I told you about it. I literally wrote the note. Read the note. Read the note. All right. Second mistake I saw. You were given the table. And yes, even though they're vertical tables, they still act like horizontal tables. One, six, two, eight, three, ten. All right? So we're going to create another coordinate plane. Label this X, label this Y. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now, on the Y, what do I want to go up by? Again, I'm going to use my pencil. I'm going to make a mistake. Some of my students in this class, they took these numbers and they wrote it down here. Six, eight, go ten. Go up by twos. Right. It goes up by twos, but you have to start on two. You have to start with two, four, six, eight. You do not skip the first part. It makes your graph incorrect, which makes your equation wrong and your unit rate wrong. It makes everything wrong. So this is a mistake. Yes, we are counting by twos. Yes, but you can't start with six. You have to start with the natural two. If you're going to count by twos, you got to start by two. You got to start with two. Two. Four, six, eight, ten, twelve. Okay. If I start counting by fives, that's cool. I can't just start on twenty. I gotta start five, ten, fifteen, twenty, and so on. Okay. You can't skip numbers. You can skip count. It's just as long as you include all the numbers. Okay. So if if the unit rate is fifty, then cool. Go up by fifty. Don't skip. Don't skip. All right. So this is one six. Two, eight, three, ten. Right? There's two ways to do this. You can draw your line and just extend it like so. Did it go through the origin? No. No. The other way you can do it is if you just want to, if you're like, nah, I'm going to connect it to zero, zero, my son. Like, I'm going to be stubborn and I'm going to connect it to zero, zero. Look, I connected to zero, zero. Awesome. But now your line is not a straight line. It's not a straight line. Exactly. Now, the third mistake I saw, which you guys did, was. Give me three. Well, I mean, all combination. Like you, for example, let's pretend you made the mistake of counting, marking the Y's wrong. And then someone else in the class did. Um, what was your second mistake? Second mistake was no counting or not connecting correctly. Right. And the third mistake that someone else did, but I saw it a lot of times. I don't think one single person did all three mistakes, but I saw this repeated a lot. This is not proportional, right? Because it does not start or go through, start at the origin which is zero, zero, right? Okay, so it's not proportional, right? So guess what? There is no K. But what did you guys do? All of a sudden, you guys are giving me Ks left and right. And it's like, wait, you just told me half a second ago, it's not proportional because it's not a straight line. It just goes through the origin. I'm like, yes, yes, you're right. It's not proportional. You're awesome. And now all of a sudden you're giving me a K and an equation. I'm like, no. If it's not proportional, you are done. There's no K. And if there's no K, there's no equation. Okay, guys? 
So some of you are doing like too much, but technically we're doing it wrong. I know that your slide, Google slide had, what is K equal? What's your equation for every single problem? As to not give away which graph didn't work. If I were to like delete them, you'll be like, oh, well duh, she doesn't ask me for it. So therefore it's not proportional. I don't have to think. So I put in all of them and you had to figure out, okay, well, which one's a, which one's a yes and which one's a no. Um, if it's a no, then ladies and gentlemen, you are done. You are done for, you know, working with those. If you say not proportional, you are 100% done. Okay. So those are the three common mistakes I saw yesterday. Now let's do today's. All right, this is today's lesson. Is the table proportional? Is the table proportional? So yesterday we talked about is the graph proportional? Today we're just gonna look at the tables and see if the tables are proportional. All right, <clears throat> so in order for it to be proportional, Proportional table. How many of you now know how to spell proportional? <laughs> like, I'm sure like the first day you're just like, what? Proportional? How do you spell that? And now it's like, you've written it so many times. Okay, proportional tables. All the y over x have to be equal to be a proportional table, okay? So your best friend from a couple of days ago or weeks ago, y over x, all of the y's over x have to be equal in order for your table to be proportional. So we're gonna be using y over x. And if they all match, they're all equal to each other, we have a proportional table. If one of them doesn't match, it's over. It's ruined. We get to go home. Oh wait, we are home. Never mind. <clears throat> All right, ready? So I'm gonna give you this table. X, Y. So I've changed the tables to now be vertical. It's the same thing as the horizontals. All right, let's do two, four, Three, six, four, twelve, seven, twenty-one. Okay. So what we have to do is we have to do y over x. No other choice. Y over x. Please make sure you do y over x. Don't do x over y. Y goes on top. 4 over 2, 6 over 3, 12 over 4, 21 over 7, okay? So the first thing you do is you just write all of these as fractions. All of these just as fractions. You put the Y number on the top. You put the X number on the bottom. So really, why all of them and not just one? Because I will tell you why. I'm not sorry. I will show you why. Okay. So all the y over x have to be equal to be a proportional table. Well, they don't match. We have to do what we call simplify. We have to simplify. So you ask yourself, what can I divide 4 and 2 by? Divided by 2, divided by 2. That gives me 2 over 1. So all of these have to match two over one. Not just the first one, well, that's the first one. You have to match all of them to two over one in order to be proportional. If one of them doesn't match, if everything is ruined. Divide this by three, two over one. <gasps> they match. Should I stop? Should I be lazy and just go like, all right, cool, they match, I'm done, proportional. And no. 
let me let you in on a little secret. Usually when you get these, usually the last ones are the ones that don't match because they know kids will stop. When two of them match, kids will stop and be like, all right, cool, I'm done. They match, we're done. And what they'll do is the last ones won't match, but because kids will stop, then they get it wrong. Don't be tricked, kids. Don't be tricked. Divide this by four. I get three over one. Comes three over one. Now you have a pretty sad teacher now. Does it match? At this point, you could stop. But I'm an overachiever, so I'm going to do the last one. 21 divided by 7 is 3. 7 divided by 7 is 1. Oh, Miss Lamella, but these two match? Yeah, no. They all have to match. But these two match and these two match. Yeah, no. What did I just say? You have to match. They all have to match. They all have to match. So this is not or non. Non-proportional. Y, the Y over X do not match. Right there. Look, Miss Amelia, right there. It doesn't match. That's a work I'm going to show you for my classwork. Look, for your classwork, you're going to be doing this, and you're going to tell me if they match or not match. And you have to do it for every single one they give you. Not just two, not just one, all of them. Because somewhere you might be tricked, and it might end up being a no, a not proportional, like because of the bottom one. That's usually where they are, the bottom ones, the last ones, because they know kids won't go all the way to the to the end because it's more work. Yes, it is more work. Sorry. So if it's not proportional, there is no K and there is no equation. Okay? So because it's not proportional, you're done. There's no K, there's no equation. They don't match. So again, you have to do it for all of them because you don't know where it's going to mess up. Could you have graphed this? Yes. You 100%, you could have graphed this and your line would not have been straight. It might start at zero, zero, but your line would not have been straight. So be careful. Sometimes they will put a zero, zero there to trick you. So don't just assume because there's a zero, zero, it's proportional. It meets one of the criteria so that it goes through zero, zero. But is it a straight line? And you won't determine that until you either do this or you draw it. All right, let's do another one. X, Y again. Two, four, four, eight, six, twelve, and eight, sixteen. All right, so first thing is we got to write these as y over x. So 4 over 2, 8 over 4, 12 over 6, and then 16 over 8. Now, I granted the math is pretty easy on this one. For some of you, you'll look at it and you'll, you'll know. But still practice showing me y over x for all of them. Because when they get harder, you're going to rely on that. So, you know, you got to practice right now when they're easy so it becomes familiar to you. So when they get, the problems get harder, you're not like, oh my God, I don't know what to do. Oh my God, I've never done these. I've only done these in my head. I don't know what to do. When you practice on paper, you know what the easy one it's stuck in your head. It's stuck. All right. So let's simplify all of these. Divide this by two. That gives me 2 over 1. So I'm looking for all of them to equal 2 over 1. So I'm going to just find 4. 2 over 1. Divide this by 6. Ah. Should I stop there? Should I call it proportional? Mm, you're almost there, kids. Don't give up now. Ah, be all match. All match. Confetti, yay! Woo yeah. Woo cool. So that means since they all match,
Yay, they all match. That means you have a K. And K would be 2 over 1, because you're all 2 over 1s. Which in reality just means 2, because 2 divided by 1 is 2. Not to be confused with 1 half. And then your equation is... Do we is an Yes. Since you have a K, your K is this. This is your K. Since they all match, you have a K. On the one I gave you before, they didn't match. So there is no K. Is K 2 over 1? Is K 3 over 1? I, I don't know. I can't decide. You can't decide. It's not proportional. Since they all match, because you did it to all of them, and they all have the same Y over X, that's your K. That's your equation. There is a shortcut way to do this. The shortcut way doesn't work all the time, so that's why I'm stressing and pushing the Y over X, because the shortcut doesn't always work. So I'm teaching you the Y over X method because the Y over X method works 100% of the time. Okay, any questions?